in this fourth lesson of Grammar Day Passive Voice, how to form passive voice. Now we're gonna look at how to form. Of course, we can form it in the um, affirmative, in the negative, in the interrogative, and in the negative interrogative. So let's review the structure real quick. It needs to have the forms of to be plus a past participle, such as is charged, was written, had been eaten. These are the forms of to be and then the past participle. In looking at the affirmative, here's a sample. The car was built in 1925. The car was built in 1925. This is a passive sentence because it's not saying who built it, who was the one that did the action. The car is the focus. Now let's look at the negative. The car wasn't built in 1925. The car wasn't built in 1925. Now, I want to look a little in depth with the interrogative with you. Was the car built in 1925? Was the car built in 1925? You can see here is the um, to be form and then the past participle. Now, here's another question. The car was built by whom? in 1925 if you wanted to ask who was it who is that agent who is the one that did it you can ask that question now here's some more examples of how to form those interrogatives where was the car built in 1925 when was the car built in 1925 spring summer fall how was the car built in 1925 and then why was the car built in 1925. All of these are passive forms of the interrogative. Now these passive form of interrogatives can be also asked in the negative interrogative. Wasn't the car built in 1925? And you can use all those forms of the interrogative in the negative form. So these are examples of how to form the passive voice.